First Communion. In the school I began attending when I was 40, as having no real sense of self, purpose, or values, where I learned to sit in relative stillness progressively over years, early on repeating a mantra aloud and then internally, in time to practice being of the body at rest and to listening. It was there I learned to be aware of my footsteps, every word articulated as claiming value for being mine, framed frequently by gesticulations more defensive than persuasive, until no longer manifesting as signals I was asleep. Perceiving myself awakened, this vanity resolving as I opened more in true welcome of others than in guile. At school where I had first washed dishes, scrubbed floors, cleaned toilets, meeting weekly to meditate and share observations, hear scripture of many traditions, and where there was always plenty to do, one afternoon six of us were setting up 40 chairs, placing them carefully, thus and so, in the common room for a talk by a leader of the London School. As we finished and I stood in the theretofore unknown rapt experience of service as devotion, the man who was to speak passed by. He said, don't claim it. 